Hey, you guys. All right. I don't know what happened with that. Um, Facebook just cut off on me. Okay. So I'm going to hop right back into this. Uh, hopefully you all will go back and watch the uh, first part of this video that has already been recorded. One second. All right. Hmm. That was really interesting. That's never happened before, but anyways. All right, y'all. Okay, so let's get back into this conversation. Again, I'm Shara Prophet. For those of you who do not know me, I am the founder of Open Door Hypnosis and the Be Magic School. I am certified in clinical hypnotherapy. And uh, we were just talking about snail trails and the significance of the journey of the snail. As a hike, in the mornings, I see all of these little snail trails, right? And they're they're just kind of zigzaggy and all over the place. And when you pay attention to the movement of a snail, you notice how slow they move. Okay. So the first thing that comes out that came that popped out to me when I'm stopping and looking at these snail trails, and this is the, the beauty of hiking and spending a lot of time in nature because you can learn a lot about yourself, about life, about humans, about the cosmos, about the universe, if you just spend time observing nature. So this is why I am a huge advocate of going outside a lot and spending a lot of time outside by yourself in the silence, no radio, no headphones, nothing, nothing to distract you from paying attention to what's happening naturally around you. Okay. I'm a huge advocate for that. I get so many downloads. People wonder how I'm always coming up with different classes and different ideas. And they just come out like this It's because I spend a lot of time in nature and I, that's where I get a lot of my downloads, just being outside. Right. Um, walking or just sitting and meditating or sometimes just sitting and staring off into space, all right? So as I'm looking at these snail trails and I'm like, wow, this is really amazing. The first thing that comes out is the snail is not rushing to get to wherever they're going. And usually they're just going from this side of the, the trail to the other side of the trail, right? Okay, I keep getting cut off. If you guys can still hear me, can you please just put it uh, in the comments if you're still able to hear me? Can you still hear me? Because from where I'm looking is saying that the, the live has ended, that it's over with which is really interesting. I don't know why that keeps happening. Facebook is something else, child. This is exactly why I, I have not been on here for almost a year, over a year, because Facebook is something else. <laughs> it is something else, child. Something does not want me to get this message out for whatever reason. So if you all cannot hear me, if you can't hear me anymore, am I still live? Let's see. Can you still hear me? Okay, so I'm still here. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to keep going. Thank you so much, Cosmic Minds. Oh, Cosmic Minds, hi. Thank you. Um, I love your page, by the way. I love your page. Okay, good. Y'all can still hear me. That's great. All right, so I'm going to keep going. All right, Um. so... The first thing that popped out to me was the snail is not rushing to get to the other side. The snail is taking its time. It's going at its own pace. It's not going against its nature to hurry up and get to something. It knows that it's going to reach its destination. And guess what? That's still not certain because along my hikes, I see a lot of crushed snails who were almost to the other side and they got crushed. But they, that didn't stop them from taking the journey. And they, they, they may know that there's a chance that they may not make it. And maybe they don't know that they may not make it. Either way, they keep going. And 
their path is not straight across. Their path is a little ziggly. It's a little kind of like this. Sometimes it looks like it swirls around and it goes back in the other direction. And this is, to me, indicative of what our paths look like on our own journeys. Unfortunately, we live in a time where we are being told by so many uh, different sources, forces, that we need to hurry up and do something, that we need to hurry up and get this money, get this bag. And that's what most people are. And believe me, I was on that track as well. Okay. Now I love money. I think that you should absolutely be um, concerned and aware of your prosperity. That should be a very important thing for you. However, I have learned that in the pursuit of the so-called bag, I lost sight of the journey because I was so focused on hurrying up, hurrying up, hurrying. I, I had people telling me, you need to hurry up. You need to hurry up and do this and do that and do X, Y, and Z. To the point that I lost joy in what it was I was doing, right? And I'm gonna be 100% transparent with you all right now. I do not enjoy social media. I don't like it. I don't like being on lives. I don't like being on social media. A lot of people wouldn't be able to tell it because they're like, you're so good at it. Yes, I am. I am, but I do not enjoy it. One, because I'm a very personal person. I like to be to myself. I love teaching and I love teaching in more closed um, environments. That's why I have private classes that I teach and small groups that I work with, right? Um, however, I do understand that this is a part of my journey. I have been told over and over and over again by my higher sources, right? The, the, the parts of me, the highest, truest forms of me that, that sees what I cannot see and knows what I do not know, that my voice needs to be heard. What I have to offer, I need to share it with the masses. That's the only reason why I come on here. It is not to gain fame. It is not to gain fortune. It is not to be an influencer. That is not my dream. I've never dreamed of being in the limelight. I'm good at it. Yes, that's my nature. I'm good at it because I, the way my chart is, I do well in public. I do well as a public uh, speaker. Okay. However, I prefer to be not seen, <laughs> quiet, and only those who, who know about me come to me and we can work together in a, a private setting. But because I understand that this is a part of the journey, because it's not for me, it is for other people, right? The information that, that we receive, those of us who have been tagged and touched and anointed with this 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 mission, right? Uh, most of us don't want to do it. Most of us don't feel like doing it, right? I enjoy the work that I do, that I get to do. I enjoy working with the people that I get to work with. I do not enjoy being on this camera. I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy doing lives, posting on social media. I don't like it, okay? But like the snail, I know that if I don't move and I don't go along the path and this journey, and sometimes it's going to be zigzaggy, sometimes I have to go back and start over again, right? And it may take a little bit of time. I know that if I don't do that, that the dreams, the goals, the aspirations that I have, right? won't be realized if I do not walk across that trail and get to the other side, okay? I have a choice to always turn back around and be like, oh, I don't wanna do that, <laughs> right? But then I find that I still have to go to the other side, okay? I might get crushed. 
I have definitely had people try to crush me, believe me. Okay, I've had people try to stop me. I've had people try to, you know, te uh, uh, tear down my account. I lost my, my previous Facebook account when I had like 13,000 followers or something like that. I've had, I have had uh, both self-imposed forces, things within myself, limitations, belief systems, and things like that try to stop me, as well as outside forces that felt threatened because I was using my voice, because I was out there, okay? Because it's powerful. I know that the messages that are given to me are powerful. They help people. They move people. They heal. It heals me. So I know it's healing somebody else, all right? When we remove the fear and the doubt and the worry of whether or not we're going to get there or when we're going to get there, and we just focus on the journey like the snail. The snail is just there. The snail is just moving. So, so slow that it looks like he's not moving at all. But they're moving. They're moving. You can tell because you can see the trail. You can see where they started from. And you're like, wow, how long did it take you to just get right here? It had to have taken you, if not hours, days, to just get from here to here because of how slow they're moving. And my finger like this, this is faster than what the actual movement is. Believe me, when you sit there and stare at a snail like I do, you're like, it looks like you didn't even move, Jal. And I know a lot of us tend to feel that way. I'm doing all this work. I'm doing all this movement. I have had all of this traction. And then it just still feels like I'm not getting anywhere. It feels like I have to start all over again all the time. It feels like nothing is happening, right? And you see other people and it's like, well, what? It looks like they're just doing, they're moving forward and they're moving, they're going so fast. But this is the thing. You don't know what's happening in everybody's journey. Just like, I don't know what that snail's journey looks like, 100%. I see the traction. I see the movement only because I can see the snail trail. But when I'm looking at the snail, I cannot see everything that's happening underneath the surface that's moving that snail forward, that's getting that snail to the other side. Okay? All I can see is what the snail has already accomplished. And usually that's what we're looking at. When we're comparing ourselves to other people, when we are wondering why we aren't moving as fast, you're forgetting that you have somebody else looking at the movements you've already made. See, everything that we do is already done. It's already been finished. It's already in the past, right? But because... We feel like we haven't reached our goal. We haven't reached the other side. We don't even pay attention to the stuff that we've done already. It doesn't even matter to us anymore. Because it's like, I can't even, I'm not where I'm supposed to be or where I think I'm supposed to be. So you don't even give credit to the stuff that you've done. But other people are. Other people are like, man, you have done so much. Oh my God. How, when did you have time to do all of that? And you sitting up there like, what do you mean? When did I have time to do all of that? I ain't got, I, ain't, I haven't gone where I need to go yet. I haven't even gotten there yet. So I encourage you, if there's snails somewhere in your neighborhood where you live and you happen to come across one, just Take a few minutes, take about three minutes and just sit there and watch the snail move. Watch the movement of the snail. And if you're somewhere it, like where there's dirt, you can actually see their trail. You can see, you know, the movement and the, and the I'm going to post it after this, but you can just see like the zigzags that the snails have made. Okay. And some of them do get crushed. One time I saw a live snail that was moving past a crushed snail. He was still moving. He had moved past him. That snail didn't stop him like, oh my God, he got crushed. Let me turn back around and go, uh-uh, because -uh, I ain't trying to go over there. He gonna get, I'm going to get crushed too. 
that snail kept moving because that's not his business. That's not of his business that the other one got crushed. He can bless him and keep him moving. Okay. I was talking to a, a friend of mine the other day and I was telling her, I was like, uh, cause we were talking about whether or not people go back and read their own material, read their books. And I was like, I do all the time. I went back and read this book and I'm glad that I did that. And I go back and I listen to a lot of the classes that I've done in the past and a lot of my lives that I've done in the past. And I do that. And I'm happy that I do that because what it does is it reminds me that I'm on the right track, especially when I start feeling uh, frustrated and discouraged. I don't really get frustrated and discouraged anymore because I've done a lot of healing. I used to, you know what I mean? I used to until I healed a lot of stuff, right? When I healed codependency, when I healed the spell of codependency, and when I broke that spell, okay, I released the need for a lot of things to happen right now because it had to happen right now, it had to happen right now. And it didn't help that I had certain people in my ear telling me, you gotta move, you gotta, it gotta happen right now. And it's like, I can't make more happen because if I try to do more than what I'm doing right now and I was already feeling burnt out, I was already feeling frustrated and discouraged. And the reason for that, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why that happens to a lot of people, it is because there's something that you're you're going against the grain when you sometimes you just need to stop. Sometimes you just need to slow down so that you have time to see what it is that needs to be adjusted within you. Okay. A lot of people, it's just an adjustment that needs to be made. But if you keep trying to move against the grain and go against the the, the nature of you needing to slow down, stop, and just take inventory of what's happening internally. Most people don't want to do that. Now we have more people starting to do that because of the time that we're in. More people are starting to become awakened. They're starting to move away from the old way of doing things because they're tired of getting the same results. Something inside of them is saying, yo, you got to change something. You got to shift because you keep doing the same thing. You're going in a loop like this. So we do have more people starting to pay attention, but it's still a lot of folk that are going against the grain, going against the grain, going against the grain and becoming frustrated and creating more wounds, new wounds. Because instead of us slowing down and saying, let me just stop for a minute and see what it is that I need to do. And understanding that the doing is not necessarily external to us. The doing is internal. It's the internal work. It's the internal uh, uh, inventory that we have to take. But we do live in a, in a society right now that is hyper-focused on external instant gratification. That's why social media is so hot and it's so... Uh, popular because it's instant gratification. It's instant. Okay. It's, you get those shots of dopamine when you scroll, when you see, you know, the whole Drake Kendrick thing going on that excites people a little bit. And, and, and it's always the most negative stuff that we give our attention to. I am guilty of it as well. I'm guilty of that as well. Okay. And I do believe that there needs to be balance. Like, you know, you can't be all love and light and positivity. And I don't, I don't get involved in anything negative ever. You can't live your life like that. That's just not how this world works. We're not there yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? The key is learning how to be on the journey with your feet on the ground, being in your human physical form, living on planet earth, head not in the clouds all day, every day, and still be able to feel at peace and at ease inside, even if you are looking at something that is of a low frequency, 
even if you are around people or situations or environment that might be vibrating at a lower frequency than you're used to. You, you, that's the goal. The goal is to take enough internal inventory to learn how to adjust yourself to where you know how to navigate and flow through all of that. That's the goal, okay? That is the goal. Cousin Mind says, hire somebody as your spokesperson. That's not, I can't do that. I would love to, but that is not my, that's not what my spirit team wants. They want me to, they want me talking. <laughs> so I, I got to do it until I get a different message. But trust me, that is, that would be lovely, but that ain't what they want. Okay. Um. Hey, Nakia. So that's it. That's all. I'm not going to hold you all too long. I just wanted to share that message with you. Don't worry. You're going to get there. You will get there. Okay. You do not have to be concerned. Somebody posted a meme the other day. It said something about just focus on the when and don't worry about the when. W-H-E-N. Focus on the W-I-N. But don't worry about when. Because when you are too focused on, did I get there yet? Did I get there yet? You trying, that's like trying to watch a, a, a paint dry or a, a, a pot of water boil. It feels like it's taken forever. But if you walk away and you focus on something else, next thing you know, the pot is boiling over and you got to go in there and hurry up and, oh, my gut is ready already. But most of the time, and this is and this is the this is what it comes back to that entity. I keep telling y'all this is this is an entity out here that feeds on our emotions. It feeds on our lack. It feeds uh, on us feeling like we're not good enough, we're not worthy enough, or we haven't made it there yet. Right? It feeds on us that longing and needing it to happen. And if it doesn't happen, you, you get that low grade depression. And some people get deep, deep depression because they feel like they haven't made it yet. They don't know what they're doing wrong. Instead of being in the present moment, appreciating the journey like I said, I am not a fan of social media. I am not. I am not a fan of doing this. Not. But I appreciate it. I appreciate the downloads that I get during my meditation. I appreciate the way that my spirit team helps to form it inside of me so that I am here to deliver it to you. I appreciate you being here listening. I appreciate all of it. Okay. I, I can't worry about my personal feeling of, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. When I keep getting the message to move forward and go and do X, Y, and Z. Also that thing inside of us that says, I don't feel like it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Right. Why is it saying it to you? What is the resistance to doing the thing that you feel your soul calling you to do? Okay. What is the resistance to it? And can you move through it? Because let me tell you something. When it comes to the social media stuff, the people who shouldn't be talking, who should be keeping their mouth shut, they don't have a problem with getting up and talking all the time and saying all types of ridiculousness and spreading poison, poisoning the minds and the hearts of, of those poor unsuspecting folk who don't know how to protect themselves, who have not quite tapped all the way into their intuition. So they don't know when to turn something off. They don't know as soon as they don't know how to respect that thing that they feel the moment they notice their, that whoever's talking to them is out of resonance with them.
Okay. So the folk who ain't supposed to be saying nothing, who need to, are speaking the loudest. And see, that's the message that came through for me. It was like, you need to get on and be like that snail and just go. Don't worry about the crushed ones around you. Don't worry about the potential danger of being stepped on. Just go, just go, just go. Because you don't know what's going to be on the other side. Plus your voice is needed. So whoever I'm speaking to right now, your voice is needed. If you've been like, I ain't trying to do that. I ain't really trying to be on here. I ain't really trying to, you know, I just kind of want to do my thing and be quiet. If you are being called to share, to teach the masses, believe me, I know how you feel, Jay. I don't feel like doing it either. But if it won't shut down, if you can't stop the voices, <laughs> like I have been trying to stop the voices for a long time. But and it doesn't, it's not just voices in my head, it's voices from other people. Okay. And then sometimes when I'm hearing messages being uh, sent through the airwaves from those who need to be, it's just like, okay, I need to get out here and, and just speak. Cause it ain't, it's not for me. It's not about me. It's about the message, me being a vessel through which the message can come through. That's really what it's all about. It's not about me. I'm not here for ego. I am not here for, for stardom or fame or any of that stuff. Not at all. If I could go live in a in a in the woods by myself, write my books and invite people to classes and just live my life like that, trust me, I would absolutely do that with the quickness. However, there has there is something that else that I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so I'm here doing it. So if you have felt that way. If you have felt like you want to get to the other side, but you don't feel like going through all of the, how long it's going to take and somebody potentially crushing you and stepping on you and all of that type of stuff. If you've felt that way, and many of us have a right to feel that way. We got a right to feel that way. It is time to do that external, that internal inventory, make the adjustments, figure out what the resistance is to it and do the work to clear that and get out there and do what you got to do, okay? Because like I said, there are a lot of people who love hearing themselves talk. It's a lot of people who are get out there given the worst information possible. Now, there's a lot of us is out there doing the, doing the good work. It's a lot of excellent, excellent um, teachers and um, coaches and things like that. There's a lot of really talented, amazing people who are filled up with that um, vibrant energy that is actually feeding and uplifting humanity and the planet. But there's also a whole lot of agents out there. A lot of agents, a lot of them, you gotta be careful. And a lot of them are readers. I'm just gonna say that, I know that's not a popular opinion, but I do listen to, um, uh, like, you know, the general Taurus readings and stuff like that. I listen to them, but sometimes, but I have gotten so tuned in that as soon as somebody start talking, like maybe about two minutes in, I'm like, uh-uh, I got to turn this off. They're an agent. Anytime they start saying things like, and I know this is going away from the, the, the topic, but I got to say this because I've been biting my tongue and holding my tongue on saying this. Uh, when they start telling you, oh, you're sad. Oh, you feel stuck. Oh, things are not working out for you right now. And oh, somebody's trying to work against you and come against you. And you got this thing coming after you and that thing coming after you. You know, when this person wants to, you know, uh, take you down. You know, you need to be scared and worried and, oh my goodness. When they, when you, when you start hearing that type of rhetoric and they, and they keep saying it over and over and over and over again, those are suggestions, y'all. Those are suggestions. It takes you three to five seconds to slip into a hypnotic state. We call it the light state of hypnosis, which is the hypnoidal state. Three to five seconds of you focusing on a thought, sound, or idea, or an object. 
okay? Three to five seconds. When you are watching somebody on TV, on social media, on the internet, things like that, reading a book, what we do, this is a part of the hypno hypnosis process. This is a part of the hypnotic induction process. When you go to a church, when you go to a concert, right? Whomever is the main focal point, whether it's an author, an actor, um, a speaker, a preacher, a teacher, a singer, okay, a politician, whomever is the main focal point has now positioned themselves in your energy for that amount of time, whether it's just for five minutes or for five hours, they position themselves as an authority figure in your life which can put you in an automatic hypnotic induction. It induces hypnosis three to five seconds. So you start listening to what that person is saying to you. And so I always tell people, cover your dome energetically. Put your protections up before you start listening to folk. That's why they tell you don't fall asleep to certain things at night when you go to bed. Don't listen to stuff first thing in the morning. The reasoning for that is because those are the times that you are most susceptible to outside stimulus. Meaning your critical filter is a little less on the, the, the protection. It is the little, a, little, a little less defensive, okay? Your defenses are down a little bit. And if you're sleeping, you don't have control over what it is you're taking in. Okay, unless you know how to protect yourself. Most people don't. Most people don't know how to energetically protect themselves all throughout the day, not just once a day, all throughout the day because in the time that we are living in right now, everything is moving through the airwaves. Okay, and you can catch something through the, airwaves without you even needing to turn on a device. You don't have to turn it on for it to deliver things to you. It just happens because that's the time we're living. Okay. So I say that to say, be discerning about who you listen to, do your research, find out, see if they got reviews, uh, see if there's any scams, see if there's any complaints about them. If you know somebody that has worked with the, those people before, tap in and be like, hey, what do you think about this person? I, you know, I'm, I'm watching them and I see them. What do you think about them? You worked with them before? Okay, do that. Trust me, please believe me, do that. I wish I had done that with certain people that I was following and ended up giving tens of thousands of dollars to, okay? And, and they and they didn't they were not at all good for me. They were good for me in the sense that they helped me see some things that I needed to heal within myself. But as far as being um, someone that was trustworthy, no, no, okay. But sometimes you got to go through stuff on your own before you can come to those realizations. Uh, you know yourself all right so um hey y'all so all right i'm gonna let this go um and hopefully this has been helpful for someone out there please feel free to share this message remember you will get there and if you have the opportunity take a look at the snail's journey okay maybe look up the snail see how that fits into your life okay Let's see if anybody have some questions over here. Yeah, Cosmic Minds. Okay, I'll I'll um connect with you. All right, y'all. So have a blessed Tuesday. Remember Thursday, May 9th, we start uh mystical uh the mystical money mastermind 2.0.
Okay. Um, I will go ahead and put all of the information for that down in the comments so that you all can check it out. I'll also um, link to my free download of um, how to use negative affirmations. So I uh, hope this has been helpful for you all and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.